In this release, you'll find a new sheet metal flange alignment option. In addition to the existing inner, middle, and outer, you'll now be able to select hold line, where the bend itself will initiate from the current edge of the sheet metal model. You may now export multiple sheet metal flat patterns in one go. When exporting a flat pattern, you'll see a new option for scope, allowing you to select to export all flat patterns from the part studio. The result will save a .zip containing each of the separate files. You can now measure the curvature deviation between a curve and a face. From the measure dialog, select curvature deviation for the measure type, and then pick the curve and the face. Even though these seem to be meeting smoothly, it does appear there is a curvature deviation between the two items. Editing the bridging curve will change the condition to match curvature, and this should resolve the issue. Rechecking from the measure dialog, this time we will notice that the curvature deviation will correctly read a value of zero, showing that we are truly curvature continuous. When viewing a product structure list view, you'll find improvements to the table user interface. First, the top panel can be adjusted to show more or fewer folders. The column widths can be easily adjusted, and the columns can now be reordered left or right allowing you to see all appropriate metadata in whatever order you may need. In this release, you may now directly dimension a circular center mark arc segment using either a radial or a diametrical dimension callout. Light users within an enterprise may now create general tasks directly from within a document. Right-clicking on the Active tab at the bottom, you'll find an option to Create Task. We'll quickly put in some information for the name and description of this task. Tasks can be assigned to yourself or others in your organization. You can also include due dates with your tasks. Clicking the Assign button will create and assign that task. As a reminder, light users have previously had the ability to create general tasks from comments within documents. Tasks could also be created and managed from the Action Items page. General tasks are a great way to organize and manage outstanding design steps, even for managers or non-CAD designers. Enterprise administrators will now find a new user interface for managing custom release management workflows. From the Release Management tab of your enterprise setting, select the Custom radio button at the top to view your configured workflows. Release management workflows can easily be toggled between active and inactive using the checkboxes on the left. On the right side, you may quickly expand to preview a workflow. You can also unpublish a workflow if you no longer wish to use it. Finally, you can open the workflow within its containing document to further edit it as you may need. Onshape and Arena PLM have a direct connection cloud to cloud, which allows for many benefits, including synchronized bill of materials and release management. Here, we are looking at the structured bill of materials, and I can now select from the category column, which I added to my Onshape bill of materials, categories that make sense for partnering schemes that are available in Arena PLM that match their category system. In this case, I am also adding the product assembly category in generating all the missing part numbers in one fell swoop directly from Arena PLM on the Onshape bomb. I just want to go to my drawing here and refresh the bomb and get ready for a release workflow. 
Now there is an Onshape and Arena release workflow that will do some special things for us. Notice that I need to add a part number to the drawing, but there is an Arena symbol now available in the release candidate if we are using the Arena workflow. Here in Arena PLM, I can create a change order to initialize the release package. An ECO number is automatically generated with sample routings in Arena PLM. ECO 269 has been created. Back in Onshape in the release candidate, let's reference that engineering change order. As you can see, it links it directly and even brings in the release notes that I added in Arena PLM. Let's submit this in Onshape. As we push this through the release workflow, several things are happening behind the scenes. Onshape is obviously generating a release candidate and informing us as to the status of where it is in the workflow. A release has been created. So now if we go to Arena PLM and submit this engineering change order, we will be able to push it through the full change management process. As we submit changes in Arena PLM, we will be able to see Onshape related activities and documents being created. Let's approve this using a final approval workflow and note how if we go to the items tab, we have all of the items that were part of that engineering change order, links to Onshape, item numbers, even links to files that were automatically generated. Here I selected the bottom cover component and I was able to navigate to that directly in Arena PLM. Back in Onshape, let's take a look at the result of what occurred. By signing off in Arena PLM, it signed in approved in Onshape as well with the correct revision number, rev blocks, and everything else updating. If we go to Arena PLM, we will see in turn PDFs and step files were created for every item that had a drawing. You'll have a PDF and it will create a step file for every item as well. And this is an optional setting that you can turn on in the Onshape administration tool. All the things in Arena PLM will work. Things like where used reports. If I go to that particular item, it will bring me to the assembly where it was used. And now I can see the files for that battery pack component. In this case, the PDF is waiting here for us to look at fully filled out, watermark removed. This is all enabled because the settings are turned on in Arena and in Onshape. In Onshape, in the admin tool, we can set the revision scheme, revision tables, and also enable the connection to Onshape and Arena, making sure the categories are all matching. If you're watching this on release day, just give this a couple of days because the Onshape and Arena releases go one after the other. So if you are interested in turning this on, give it a couple days or just check with your customer success manager. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.